Greetings engineers. In this presentation we will see the AS4100 implementation in StatPro. Before that we will see why to use StatPro. StatPro is world's number one structure analysis software in terms of revenue and the number of licenses sold. It is used in almost every country in the world. StatPro is general purpose software so you can use it for almost any type of structures. It has tension compression members, truss members, cables, beams, plates, solids, bi-directional, unidirectional and multilinear springs, rigid links. It can be used for uh, multi-material design meaning steel, concrete, aluminium, timber. But Australian code is implemented only for steel and concrete. StatPro is very user friendly. It has a fantastic graphical user interface. In addition to that, it also has a text editor, which many experienced ad users uh, uh, find it very easy to edit the model. StatPro also has a feature called OpenStat, which allows you to customize by writing macros uh, to create the model easily using macros and also to link with your third party applications uh, like express sheets, uh, linking with the StatPro's analysis results. StatPro is also having uh, many advanced fe analysis features such as um, buckling analysis, eigen buckling analysis, uh, geometric nonlinear analysis, advanced cable analysis, uh, also steady state analysis, pushover analysis, etc. It also has the capability to export a flow spectrum that will be benefiting the piping team uh, who needs to do a piping analysis uh, which may be sitting on uh, structural pipe racks. StatPro also has a foster solver, uh, optional foster solver, which runs at a speed of uh, nearly 1000 times faster on, aver on average on the same computer. So all these advanced analysis features are bundled and uh, sold as optional advanced analysis plus engine. The strength of StatPro is the integrated programs. From one location StatPro, you can launch many programs such as Stat Foundation Advanced to quickly design your uh, foundations which can be varying from um, simple isolated footing till um, a matte foundation or a pile cap or a combined footing. And then you can also launch RAM concept to design your uh, slab which could be a two-way slab or a one-way slab or, a, or a, even a post-tension flat slab with column drops. Okay. So, um, you do not have to re, uh, duplicate your work in uh, uh, doing the slab modeling in other program. Just from StatPro itself, you can export it. And uh, if you are designing uh, any structure that is supporting pipes, then we can import the uh, pipe support reactions from our pipe stress program auto pipe into StatPro so that we can save a lot of time in not referring to the uh, piping uh, isometric drawings given by the piping team with hand-marked support reactions sometimes. And uh, RAM connection is another great program for designing connections, uh, which is useful for uh, uh, designing base plates, moment connections, shear connections, etc. So this is also integrated with StatPro. Now let's see the AS4100 implementation in StatPro. Basically, there are uh, two methods available in StatPro to design per uh, the AS4100. That is analytical member method. This method is followed by many international codes like uh, American, uh, Euro code, British code, uh, Indian code, etc. Whereas, only for the Australian code, we have implemented the physical member method. That's the second method. Here in after, we'll refer it as P member design. The benefits of using this uh, physical member design based on the Australian code is that the steel grade uh, selection uh, is done automatically based on the section type and also automated tensile stress and yield stress values based on the plate thicknesses, automated segment subsegment design by using the P brace command which is applicable to the P member design and also improved the detailed design calculation output. Okay. So that uh, that's, even though there are two methods it is strongly recommended that the P member design be used even for the design of a single analytical member. So with that, uh, let's go for our live demo of StatPro. To keep this presentation simple and short, let me create a simple beam example. A plain frame. Let's use the metric units. I just create a, a 6 meter beam. It's a plain frame. And I'm going to specify a property from the Australian section database.
Okay, I just use a simple uh, UB section. And uh, I use a simple pin support. Let me apply some simple loads. Self weight and then uh, member load in global y direction. And add the linear static analysis, perform analysis. You can see the other type of analysis available here. And let's quickly go to the design page and choose the Australian code. AS 4100 and here you can see the various uh, steel design parameters. The very important one to note is uh, the P-brace command which allows you to specify the uh, lateral bracing in your model. And uh, to explain about um, uh, the other design parameters, uh, I would suggest you to read the International Design Codes Manual in StatPro and uh, the Australian Codes and Steel Codes, particularly the Design Parameters page which explains about the, all the design parameters and uh, here you can see the P physical member design which is very important for the Australian code. Okay, so for this example I'll just use a simple uh, code check command Okay, and I quickly analyze it Let's go to the post processing and let's check our deflections. We need to look at our uh, beam relative displacements as there are only two nodes in the model which are pinned, uh, which is so that this, you can see the node displacements are zero. Whereas the section displacements you can uh, see here Brussels V value. And there you can see 9.845 uh, millimeter, okay, which you can see here. And uh, here's your bending moment diagram, and here you can see the uh, values of the bending moment, shear force. You can also plot it here. Okay. And also, unity check results. You can see our section is passing, and the ratio is 0 0.588. You can also look at our output file. It shows you the results in three lines. Section name and the result and the class which is governing the Australian uh, AS4100 class that's governing this design and the ratio, the unity check ratio and the, uh, the location, the critical section uh, uh, sorry, the loading and the location the loading is the number one, only one loading we have in this model so that's the one location is the mid-span, that's 3 meter the total length of the beam is 6 meter so it's exactly the mid-span that is governing and there you can see the axial force, the minor bending and the major bending so this detail of the output is based on the uh, physical, uh, not the physical member, the analytical member which we chose. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the second method. That's the recommended method for the Australian code. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to delete this check code command, and I'm going to use this uh, physical member command. Before that, I need to go to the geometry page and um, specify the physical member. Select the member, right mouse button form member. If you have a big model just choose all of them and choose auto form member so automatically the physical members will be formed based on the collinearity, collinearity of the uh, members. Then come to the design page and choose the uh, physical member mode and choose the physical member cursor and then add the same command check code. Now you can see the check code command is, has been added for the physical member and I'm going to rerun the same analysis and now we can see the difference in the results. The deflections are the same. I see the result report and now you can see we have a different format of report. The recovering ratio is almost the same but 
you can see the format of the report has changed now I'll show you how to get more uh, information in the physical member mode and choose the physical member because uh, then use that defined parameters track after current print detail same okay now I can see now you can see uh, there's no errors or warnings okay let's look at the output file there you can see a detailed output for the same member here you get the design summary uh, member is passing uh, here you can see the unity check ratio and the governing criteria here you can see the section properties printed in detail material properties printed here's your bending capacity shear capacity axial uh, compression as well as tension capacity and the governing classes are printed on the right side and here you can see the combined bending and, and uh, axial capacity okay so this detailed report explains why the physical member design is uh, recommended for the Australian design code thank you